everything to Sharon is just. I mean, he, that's what it looks like to me. I mean, I'm just saying I could be wrong. I'm not for sure what the Amish looked like down there, but he looks like he was one of those little Amish fellows that just just couldn't make it. You're all frequency. He says, "Listen, I can do that. I can do that. I can drive from one side of the quarry to the other." And they said, all right, we're going to start you off at 10 He's up to $12 an hour now, and he's big time. Keep on telling lies, Darren. You've been doing a good job of it. Oh, I'm telling you, if you want a story written, Derwood's the guy to go to. If you, yeah, exactly. If, if you want to hear a good, <laughs> want to hear a real whopper of a story, just talk to Darren. I'm telling you, man, if you really want to slander somebody, oh, man, all you got to do is talk to Durwood, man. He'll do it for you, man. I want to know wh why you took those pictures down from your site. I think you need to repost them things. You know, I was told that uh, you took those down. I'm not going to say by whom, but you took those down. You ought to put them back up there and let other people be the judges. Of it. I think that's what you ought to do, Oris, unless you're ashamed. Unless you're ashamed of your partner. Isn't that what they call them now? What Partners? What am I ashamed of? Well, I ashamed of, Derwood? Well, that's why I asked you. You ought to put them pictures back up. Tell me, I heard tell you me, took them down. I asked you, are you ashamed of them? Tell me, tell me, tell me. What am I ashamed of? Well, those pictures you took down from your site. What pictures did I take down from what site? Which one? You got an OnlyFans on us? Oh, he's got some real, real, real winter pictures there. That kind of, it, it will help bring him out of the closet if he brings them out. Just remember, it's called this piece. Oh my, Derwood, are you trying to bring me out of the closet? Well, I don't know. I mean, this is the reason why I'm kind of feeling the way I'm feeling about you, because I realize that, uh, you know, there's some tendencies there. Make sure you use a coaster so you don't leave a ring. You're nasty. Oh, I'm a son of a bitch. No, you're just nasty. I mean, just I'm a son of a bitch. Fuck with me. I mean, you might be one of them, but I don't know. I don't want to call you that kind of a name, because I don't know her. Well, you want to keep messing with me like that? Let's play. I'm telling you, dude, those are some real pictures, and you can't deny it. And then you had your friend there smiling about. I mean, with her shoulder on, head on your shoulder. Oh, I mean, I, it's a bit man. concerning. She's a friend of mine. Yeah, it's she's a, a she. She's not a boy toy. That's a girl. She's about 45, 50. She's holy a, she's a moly, if that's a girl, good Lord. Trust me, I know people that have offered her a place to live. For <laughs> Homeless. And uh, she prefers to live on the street. It makes sense, Jeff. It makes sense. Crack. Who's about to call you, Jeff? I met, I, in my line of work. I wasn't going to call him Jeff. He's nothing like Jeff. Jeff's a better person than that. There was no, there's no comparison. Jeff's a Yankee, man. He's smarter than you guys. Really? There's nothing wrong with him. That's just the way they live. And they somehow come to you. Just give it up, Darren, all right? You've already made yourself look like a big... I'm not going to say no more about Oris and his alternative lifestyle. How's that? Oh, is that what it is, an alternative lifestyle? Oh, it is different than what is on the ham radio. That's for damn sure. Ham radio is a relief is a release from reality. And then now after listening to you, I know it's not true. It's definitely a release from reality. <laughs> He's just jealous. He's not bullshitting as good as Derek. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The doctor gets called. It's your colonoscopy report. They right. they found your head. Just give it up, Darren. You've already made a big enough <laughs> fool out of yourself for one day. Oh, I'll never have as much as Darren Scott. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Come back and try again tomorrow. Five, six. Hang it up and try again tomorrow, Darren. Oh, he killed you guys today. <laughs> Murdered him. You can't Does anybody all, have any great coupons? You gotta learn how to take the, the good with the bad. That's all right. The Mustang needed far enough. Just take your own advice. Where's the beat? 
You got to take some losses with the wins, Darren. You can't win them all. Funny thing is, you guys are all wrong. Wait, what? I mean, huh? He kicked our asses. We're all wrong. Now we got another one out here. Got another another butter peanut butter sandwich cookie. We got another one that knows everything about everyone and how things are. Who's that? I only know what I need to know. Uh, right, some guy came in here and said that we're all wrong. Beers. Oh, I didn't hear him. I'm sorry. Uh, Packers. I thought you were. I thought you were talking to me. See how self-centered I am. Both teams are losers. Oh, we know all about that. We're all self-centered. You got it, buddy. So. I just I'm all I got. The, the, I wanted to hear what the uh, what the locals wanted to say, Packers or Bears? See, if nobody has opinion, that means it's unimportant, and I like it that way. Not important. I live in the middle of Wisconsin, and I'm a Bears fan, and you want to talk about some crap. <laughs> I know, I just I was just thinking that same thing. I'm like, man, is that a question that killed the camel or what? I'm W ninety eight I live off the grid and who's your national for it. I'm better than everybody. All my equipment's better than everybody else's equipment. I'm smarter than everybody else because I'm a Yankee. Wait a minute. This is N I W Q. Let's get that out of the way. Eric's got more stuff than all you guys. Oh man. No, no, no. Nobody said that your, their equipment's better than yours. We were just saying we had better equipment than Chris. Oh. He was out there earlier this morning with Horus attacking Debo for no reason. Oh, well, what did he attack him with? Did he use a verbal shit, no, I crap that Oh, yeah, they were, they were talking bad to him, you know. Horus, just a few days before that, was calling him, you know, some racial slurs. And, and then this other... This other uh, Fred Flintstone out there, man, was uh, joining up with forces with uh, with Horace attacking Debo, and I put a stop to it, and they didn't like it. They said, oh, I threw him under the bus because I, I wouldn't stick up for him and throw Debo out of here. I said, I like Debo. It's an outsider that comes around. Regardless oh, whether the they're your friend people? or not, uh, um, you always remember uh, your Davidson? mates and you showed your Yeah, that's friends. a different guy. In, uh, in concert with the plasmatics. <laughs> uh, okay, well, in any event, um, you know, in ham radio, there needs to be a safe space, kind of like uh, channel 21A, you know, between uh, channel 20 and channel 22. <laughs> Well, I wasn't going to have them attack him, and, you know, there was, they were teaming up on him, and I just jumped in there and said, I like him. They told him to go away. Nobody wants to talk to you. And I said, I like him, and I want to talk to him, and that set him off. That's what started today out. Oh, yeah, awesome. you should have awesome. said, okay, okay. Well, I want to talk I mean, to him. On, you know, Take him no to another frequency and here. talk to him. What's the problem, little go. man? It's pip, 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 and away I go. What's the problem, little man? What's the problem, little man? That's all you would have had to do, little man. That's all you would have had to do. Just like all you got to do is shut up. You take over the frequency and you take it over all day long, every and day. And I'm going to keep taking it over. As long as stupid people like you come out here and try to run good hands off. It's my frequency. I told you that. I'm listening. Yeah. Because that's what I do. <laughs> but you come in, you take over all day long, and everybody's complained about it. So it's time that you become aware of it and shut your mouth. One time, one time only, boy. Hit the road. That's right. Man, do you guys realize you've been arguing, arguing since 8 o'clock this morning? No, I, I didn't start until 9.30. I didn't start until 9.30. They was out there amongst themselves arguing, and I was listening, and I couldn't take no more. And Debo actually sent a compliment over there, and they, 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 was, they was running him through the ringer, and I couldn't take it. Keep on telling lies, Darren. That's right. This is my frequency. Right, come back. No, it ain't. It's my frequency, man. It is. I'm, I'm talking on it. And it was a great frequency. 7200 used to be a wonderful frequency. And then I and a few other people uh, took sabbaticals. 
and it turned into this. They all come up in 14, 3, whatever it is, a bunch of hood rats, and it started turning it into this. And, uh, and, and I said, you know what? I'm like Israel, man. I'm going to come back and, and, and take back sovereignty of 7,200. <laughs> well, it's not funny. You know, back in the day, you're right. This used to be a pretty good frequency. No, and then, it's not uh, working, though. Uh, I don't know. He needs to get a bigger signal than what he's got. He's like, he's going to take over this frequency. Natalie, run your mouth. 24-7. I mean, there was a new man. You need to learn how to be shy. You need to relentlessly be in frequencies on the order. And and Larry and a few of the other guys. Hoosier National Forest off the grid. You know, the guy that was playing that. Uh, always wondered uh, about Yeah, it ain't real big. It's little. The it's a channel, not a frequency. Well, this is the reason why I came out here. I decided, you know what? I'm going to play their same game. I'm going to be relentless. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it back, man. I mean, that's, that's the right. way they do it. They're like a pack of hyenas or, 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 or chihuahuas. You ever seen a chat pack of chihuahuas take down a deer? There's hundreds of little itty bitty ankle biters, man, and they'll, they'll, they'll just chase them out of the neighborhood. Well, I'm the kind of guy that's got gator skin, man. I don't get run off real easy. And ain't none of them that I've ever met ever come up to me and chase me out of anywhere. And I'm sure that you can verify that by other people that have met me at ham shows. And you know what? They never approach me. The last guy that did, he, he left. He left with a different attitude. Uh, All the chihuahuas the I've seen are just... He's taking over the channel. Yeah, that see how woman. much of a shithole it really is. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's pull up all the statistics of English and Indiana. We're going to shred this town to pieces. Fuck, it comes up on Google as shithole of the United States. Dude, you brought it on yourself. Oh, I told you all you have to do is shut the fuck up. All you got to do is shut up. Hey, none. Hey, Woody. Any of them, if they don't like it, that's tough luck. They're hillbillies, man. Shut up. You need to shut your mouth. You need to listen. No, 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 no. I'm not going to be told what to do. By a by an ignorant hillbilly, you know. Not everybody that's from the south is ignorant hillbillies, but you, you are an ignorant hillbilly, and I'm not gonna. Ha you're one of those fourteen three one three guys. That's what you are. You're part of the problem, and I'm here to fix it. In here, so you need to learn to shut the hell up. Get the road. Get out of here. We don't want to hear what you guys have to say. Just population of people that yeah well, damn, well one, time the only, the United States. Step one time only i'm gonna tell you hit the road uh, that's the population that was 2010 that's hey terrible. dave i remember when they he got in trouble when they'd come on there and somebody would give him a hard time back in the day like in 3898 that's right yeah him and bobby dollar where's all the ignorant hillbillies at Anywhere else in the country. Bobby Dollar for 75 meters? I definitely don't want to live there. Let's look into the poverty rate of English Indiana. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's actually gone down. 2020 is 685 people is the population. Exactly. People are trying to get out of that shithole. Him and Bobby. Those are the smart ones right there. Those are the smart Yankees, the ones that are trying to leave English Indiana. Uh, Claude and Bobby Dahl used to get on there every morning and talk back and forth, and Chris Heston and them were always fighting back and forth and arguing and fighting and moaning and groaning. And finally, uh, Riley o uh, Hollingsworth stepped in and said, Yo, man, uh, you get a two-year suspension from 75 meters. Say, have fun on 40. Shorter antenna wire. Have a good day. Yo, John Franklin I met him several times. I had dinner with him a couple times, drank with him a couple times. Guy I know he had been friends with him his whole life. I got introduced to him. What a ride. The founder of the Tennessee Temple University.